So scrolls are the bad guys, and you're a Cree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking about Captain Marvel. This is the film that was sandwiched between Infinity War and Endgame. It was the controversial film of 2019. A lot of people thinking that it was going to bomb and it was going to bomb hard. People were not liking Brie Larson, and up to this point, I don't think people have gotten over her. Other people besides white dudes like Star Wars and would love the opportunity to do a set visit. And I'm also saying I don't hate white dudes. Back in 2019, we had two Captain Marvel films in Shazam and Captain Marvel. And then ironically, we have two Captain Marvel films this year again with Shazam 2 and the Marvels. So I'm really excited to dig into Captain Marvel because I have a lot of thoughts on this movie. We found you with no memory. We made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior you were reborn the film tells the story of Carol Danvers, who was discovered by the Kree and trained as a member of the elite Star Force military. Six years later, after escaping to Earth while under attack by the Skrulls, Danvers begins to discover that there's more to her past. With the help from S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Nick Fury, they set out to unravel the truth. Going into this movie, I remember vaguely being optimistic about this movie. I heard some mixed things going into this movie, but I think by the time that I actually went to go see it, it was just white noise to me, and I actually came out enjoying this movie. I really enjoyed Brie Larson as Carol Danvers. I thought she was okay in the role. She didn't really blow me away, but I really like her and the interactions that we have between her and Nick Fury. I thought they held this movie together as well as they possibly could have, and a lot of the cinematography shot for this movie was actually done pretty well. While this movie is a paint-by-numbers film that I really enjoyed, the interactions that we have between Carol Danvers and Nick Fury was absolutely fantastic. I thought they played off well off of each other. I also thought it was well directed. This film was sandwiched between Infinity War and Endgame, so there was a lot of hype going into this movie, especially after the Infinity War post credit scene that we had with Nick Fury and the pager. And while I really enjoy this movie, I don't think this movie is absolutely perfect. There are a lot of issues that I had with this movie that I came out going, they could have done something well with this movie because this movie felt like it was answering a couple of questions that were set up in previous MCU films. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. Oh, no. And I feel like a lot of these answers that we had in this movie should have came off rewarding for the viewers. However, it just felt like it was just fan service thrown at you. And while I really enjoy and appreciate fan service, the way it was done in this movie, I don't think really brought a lot of the energy that it needed to bring in order for some people to get on board. Another chemistry that I really enjoyed was Carol Danvers and Maria Rambo. I think their friendship in this movie was pretty well set up. I really liked the chemistry between Brie Larson and Lashana Lynch in this movie. I kind of wish they fleshed out their relationship a little bit more because we only got a glimpse of it in flashbacks and it just didn't hit as hard as it really should have because these are friends that haven't seen each other in a long while. Carol Danvers was said to be dead and it just didn't feel earned to me. It didn't feel like there was a lot of weight to that friendship even though I really enjoyed the chemistry between Brie Larson and LaShawna Lynch whenever we had it. Plus Ben Mendelsohn as Talos I thought was great and say what you want about Secret Invasion I thought he held his own in that show for what that show needed him to do. But in this movie, I really like the relationship between him and Nick Fury for the very little glimpse that we have of them. It didn't, they don't share a lot of screen time, but even though this is a paint by numbers type of movie, I really do appreciate the twists and turns that we had in this movie where we feel like yon Rog is the hero of this fil film. It turns out that he is the villain and the scrolls are actually the heroes. So that's something that I actually really enjoyed and really threw me out for a loop because the way that it was playing out, I was not really enjoying Jude Law as yon Rog. His character really didn't do much for me. It just felt like a paint by numbers type of character. But a lot of the action sequences I thought were a lot of fun. But I still came out enjoying this movie. I thought it was fun. Rewatching it again for the first time since I saw it in theaters back in 2019. There are a lot of things to really enjoy about this movie. Especially if you were born in the 90s. There are a lot of things in this movie that will make you feel nostalgic. Especially when it comes down to the soundtrack. But overall, I really enjoy this movie. It's not great, but there is fun to be had with this movie. And it should have been better 
than it turned out to be. But I still really enjoyed it. I really like seeing Clark Gregg come back as Agent Coulson in this movie. And the relationship between him and Nick Fury for the small glimpses that we have. And the way that they use the scrolls in this movie absolutely worked for me. But those are my thoughts on Captain Marvel's. What are your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Is this one of your favorites or is this one of your least favorites? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys soon.